Hi, you pen. I'm Michelle Lifson, and I applied early decision, and I was denied at your school. And I'm here to let you know that although I was denied, I'm not giving up. <laughs> you know, I'm so nervous that I even have something written out because I don't even know. But you know, like I don't, I don't live my life with regrets. I, I just can't do it. And you know, I don't want to look back in you know 20 years and say. Wow, I wish I'd done this. I wish I'd done that. You know, I wish I just tried a little bit harder. But you know what? You know, after sending in recommendation letters, essays, this video, the journalism portfolio, and a huge list of a petition that I got, you know, within my short time limits, you know, I can honestly say I've done what I can and I'm very proud of myself. You know, I don't know how many videos you get, how many requests for, um, you know, we're looking at your application, but. You know what? <laughs> I'd love for you to watch my entire video. You could just stick around. There's even a song, you know, me, Michelle, the girl. <laughs> I'm not a singer, so. But I just really want you to know I really want to go to your school. And, you know, thank you so much for looking at this. And I really appreciate it. Hey there. Um, you know, this is the longest part of the video probably, but, you know, stick with me. I have some really good information here, so, you know, I just want to start out by saying I'm kind of a person, I like to keep things to myself, and, you know, but me applying to UPenn, I mean, having the chance to be a student at your school, calling myself a UPenn student, I mean, I, I'm a Quaker, I just, I had to tell everyone. I talked about it all the time with people, you know, I kind of felt like I was boring them, but... I mean, I didn't care because it's all I could think about. And, you know, I have a Facebook and, you know, I use it, but, you know, not all the time. But I literally started to go on it every day. I would update my status every single day. I would tell everyone, of my, all of my friends, you know, X amount of days until I know if I get into pen or not. This many days, this many days, this many days. And, you know, everyone got so involved that... I mean, it was it was almost like a community effort, you know, waiting for me to get into UPenn. And, I mean, oh yeah, and by the way, when you guys pushed up the date that we find out, I was so ecstatic. I started jumping around the house screaming, oh my gosh, mom, dad, you know, I found out sooner. And, I mean, I, it's all I could think about. And, I mean, you know, before when I would talk about Penn, it'd be one thing, but then people started talking to me about Penn. And, you know, I would be so proud and so happy to stop whatever I'm doing and talk about how much I love your school. And it was just a great feeling to know that, you know, people were in on this with me and, you know, everyone was in it together. And, I mean, this is my future. And, I mean, it's, it's so important to me. And, you know, I got to the point where I convinced so many people and how great your school is and how perfect it is. Everyone wished they applied there. And, you know, I got juniors, sophomores, freshmen, eighth graders interested in your school because it was all I talked about. And, you know, I'm I'm beyond, beyond proud to say that I grew up with Penn. I mean, my dad went there. You know, I bought new spikes for track, and the first thing I did was go out to Franklin Field and run in them. I mean, it's it's my home, and I, I would never think of any anywhere else any other way. You know, my dad went there, my brother goes there, so I'm very well acquainted with your school. <laughs> and looking at my sweater, every day at school I would wear pen gear, or if it was in the wash, I would wear red or red and blue. I mean, every and if I wasn't wearing something that ex like said pen, everyone would say, Michelle, where's your pen stuff? You know, what are you doing? Because, I mean, it was just so normal for everyone to see that. But, I mean, you know, at practice, I would wear these, my pen shorts. And during the day, I mean, at school, I would wear, you know, these sweatpants and, you know, I have, I have a hoodie, I have, you know, a shirt and a polo. I mean, and these are just some examples of things I would wear. I mean, even outside, I'd wear gloves, hats and stuff now that it's getting cold. But, you know, this is my favorite one because I feel like it sticks out the most. Um, this is the one you can see most from far away. And also, <laughs> now that it's cold, it's also the warmest. So... I mean, I, I just love representing Penn, <laughs> you know, it's what I do every day, so um, I, I live my life by the guidelines of Penn, and, you know, even all the time, my mom even wears a sweater that says, Penn Mom, so, I mean, you know, our family, we're just, we're a Penn family, so, 
and you know what, I already feel like I'm a student at UPenn, you know, if someone asks me, oh, you know, how's it coming, I mean, sometimes they'll say, how's it coming with Penn State, and I'll have to say, no, not Penn State, UPenn, so, I just, you know, I feel like I'm already there, and something else that I love about Penn is community involvement, you know, it's something you pride yourself on, and I think that's great, because, you know, I pride myself on that, too, and I'm so involved with the community here that I can't just go somewhere else and not do that. And, you know, at Penn, I already feel so close to the environment that it wouldn't even be a problem to immerse myself with everything that's going on around me. And, you know, I also love that, you know, Penn prides itself on Ben Franklin being the founder. I mean, Ben Franklin is literally my idol, truly. I love his ideals. I love everything he stands for. He fought for what he believed in and what he loved. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. I'm fighting for something I really want. I really want to go to your school. And, you know, Ben Franklin would admire me for my, I don't know, my determination. And, you know, Penn's ideals are my ideals. And, I mean, that's it. And it's not even about prestige. I mean, I know going to Penn... I mean, Penn's extremely prestigious. It's a great, great, great school. But, you know, going to college for me is, like, I need to I need to feel at home. And going to Penn would be going home to go to school. I mean, someone could drop me off at the campus of Penn. And, I mean, I would just feel great and on top of the world and free and just happy to be in the environment that Penn provides. And I, I just love Penn so much. Um, now I'm going to be singing, and <laughs> I'm not the best singer in the world, and, you know, I'm not the worst, but <laughs> I just, <laughs> it's making me a little nervous, but, you know, Penn, you're so worth it, so this is Michelle by the Beatles, it's a, it's a classic, that's why I chose it, and it's really special to me because, you know, my dad used to sing it to me, and I, I still listen to it all the time because it just, it's so meaningful to me, so... <laughs> You know, I still dance to it. And it's just so special. So, you know, I took the song and I changed up the lyrics just for you, Penn. So I hope you enjoy. You can, my friend. I want to go to your school so bad. So bad. You can, my friend. You are truly the right school for me. Perfect for me. You are my top choice, yes, Pam. That's all I want to say. I don't love another way So I'm singing these words for you And maybe you'll understand You can, my friend Everyone I know I want to be there at your school My mother, my brother, my father they know you're right to me Oh, what you mean to me And my friends and all my family They know what I mean I love you Oh, you can please rethink me I want you, I want you, I need you I think you know by now I'll get to you somehow Until I do, I'm waiting here to hear my acceptance And you can, my friend I want to go to your school so bad so bad I'll never stop and I truly hope that you understand my vision 
<laughs> that was my song. I really hope that you enjoyed it. You know, that took a lot of courage for me to do that. But you know what? This whole video is taking me so much courage. But you know, I feel great doing it. And I feel like I'm really, really doing the right thing by doing this. And <laughs> thank you so much again. And I really hope you like my song. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, you know, I don't know what you're going to do. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, I just thank you so much for watching this. And at least taking the time to look at everything that I'm doing. And I understand so many people applied. But this is so important to me that words can't even describe. You know, when people would ask me after I didn't get in, um, did you get in? I mean, I was really, really bummed. And, you know, I said I didn't get in. But, I mean... I was, you know, I also said I'm not giving up, and, I mean, I, people admire that in me, and, you know, it's, it's just also, in school, and anywhere I am, if anyone ever says anything at all about colleges, the first thing that I do is I think of Penn. I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is kind of living in the dorms, and because I can envision them the best, and it's, like I said, it's my second home, and, you know, I can picture myself going to the library and, you know, living there and sleeping there and, you know, taking the bus and, I mean, just being on the campus and, you know, sitting there looking at the art that's around. And just the beauty of everything that Penn is, is where I want to be. And it's so innate in my head that I, I can't get it out. And this is the only school that I truly, truly want to go to. And, you know, I understand if you can't relook at my application and, I know I'm asking you so much, or, I mean, even just to <laughs> admit me, you know, but I tell you, <laughs> you'll not be hearing the last of me. Penn really is in my heart, and <laughs> if I don't get in this year, expect to be seeing my application within the next, within next year or the year after that, or I'm not going to stop trying because I really, really want to go to your school. So thank you so much for listening to this, and I appreciate any feedback and anything at all. Any responses? Um, let me in you, Pen. Thank you so much.